Yes, guys. Are you somebody that inherently scoops the golf ball when they're pitching? Right, today in Short Game Saturday, I'm heading down to the pitching area here at Marsham Hall, and we're gonna be talking about the ultimate way, like honestly, the ultimate way you can stop scooping the golf ball, create nice crisp strikes, start spinning the golf ball, and ultimately, start pitching it like the pro. Now, the reason why today's upload is a little bit late is the fact that I did film it the other day, and all I can say is like, the wind, the rain, it was sounding like I was in a hurricane, so I thought, right, what? how can I best deliver this content to you guys? I thought I'd come out after I've finished coaching and create short game Saturday video. So it's gonna be broken up into two stages. Number one, a concept of how we can stop scooping it, and then number two, a really cool feeling with the towel. So guys, just wanna say, so guys, just wanna say a warm welcome to Alex Elliott Golf. If you're brand new to this channel, guys, if you are brand new, please do before you leave, do two things for me, it really helped me, helps me grow the channel. Number one, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. And number two, please consider hitting that subscribe button because it helps me grow the channel and I'd love for you to join this family of where we help you all play better golf in fun, realistic and easy, simple ways. No matter if you're high handicapper or low handicapper. Right, let's get straight into concept. Now, you might be wondering why I'm down on my knees here. I wanna show you um, and talk about kind of the arc and the angle of attack into the golf ball. Now, a lot of people who scoop the golf ball will often find that potentially in simple terms that our bottom of the arc happens before the golf ball. So the golf club comes down from a shallower angle and scoops up early. So go shallow and scoops up early, leaving us liable to catch it thin, top the golf ball and not get as much spin as we would like. Now, what I want you to try and feel here is we've got the opposite. We take it from being a low and a scoop motion like this up the woggle or the noodle, depending where you're from, guys. Uh, and then we turn it on its head. Can we feel we get the bottom of the arc past the golf ball and we potentially can angle it downwards more to hit down on the golf ball and the club head then moves through? So think about it in two ways here. If we hit down the golf ball, will our golf club head be lower after impact or higher? Think about it this way, in simple terms. If we're a scooper, the club head gets higher very quickly. If we wanna deliver it a little bit more down, potentially that club head works a little bit lower. So that's gonna be a really nice focus point when we get into the next stage. So that's the concept. Can we feel as though we're more into the back of the golf ball? Now, things like setup will really help us do that. And also the motion we now make. And I wanna speak about this drill now. This is getting the feeling of the arms and the body working together to get a pure strike when pitching. Guys, I wanna show you this in two stages. Some of you may have one of these gravity fits. Others may have stretchy bands or a towel or something along the lines of something like this bit of resistance. So I'm gonna show you first off, because most of us will have a towel or can easily access a resistance band that's fairly cheap from the internet, whereas the gravity fit, we may not have them. But I'll show you exactly with both. Let's get straight into this now. So we use the concept before with the woggle that if we're a scooper of the golf ball, we see the golf club head go higher earlier and make a motion which is a little bit like this. That's the only way this golf club head can get higher earlier. These arms break down, get the chicken wing and we get the breaking down of the lead wrist and the scooping of the golf club. So if we place our stretchy band or something over us now, we wanna put it over our shoulders and down to the golf ball. I've got this hooked through my thumbs. You can just pinch it together, whatever way you find it's easy to do so. Gripping that golf club now, make some swings back and through. So you'll notice now, for me to actually keep that golf club head lower through impact, my lower half and upper half have to work together. This looks totally different. If I'm armsy, we can really see the bands break down and it's almost like a, a scooping and a glancing down at the golf ball. If we get it moving all together, look at the difference in the motion. So straight away, I feel like my upper half turns and I collect my lower half on the way through. It's such a good analogy. It's a great way to get a much better pitching action. So how are you gonna build a range session is, I want you to hit two golf balls with this. So we're gonna pop it on there, into golf posture, slightly weight fair on the lead side, turn it back, thing it through, through towards target. Cool, perfect. That feels really strange for me to be honest. And 
what I want you to do is hold that pose. Hold that pose for three seconds after the shot. That's going to give us some great feedback. Have we worked it scoopy and head high? Or have we worked it where the arms and the body have worked together? Because look at the differences in what this motion looks like. And I'm going to take you to actually the face-on position, but not the face-on position we're all used to. Actually, where we're hitting the golf ball, because this just gives us a great, great, great image of what I want to see. So if I'm pitching this towards camera now, what I'm looking for is a motion that looks like this. Look how the arms and the body is starting to work through the target. It's nice and collected. It's not scoop through the golf ball. So your ability to deliver a golf club more consistently, and if we're honest, guys, that's exactly what we're all here to do, to, to raise our bar of consistency. And all I'm saying to you here is, can we feel palms to the ground that this all works together? It gives us a great sense of body, upper body and lower body all working together. And then apply that concept of hitting down on the golf ball, so not the woggle coming up early. I really feel that I have in my mind's eye right now, when I'm doing this drill and when I'm explaining it to people every day, that I feel like that woggle, what we had before, is almost like a rail we want to put the golf club back down onto. Because if we have a woggle we want to come back down onto, it's a no-brainer, guys. It's an absolute no-brainer. Let's now hit the second one away with the gravity fit. And I, I like this option as well. They both are really good. Remember, you just want a towel, a TheraBand, or a band like I've got that's got a bit of stretch on it. And all I want you to try and do is that after the golf ball, you keep the tension on. We know if the tension's broken, the arms are broken down and we've started to scoop. All I want you to feel is this. So second ball away here, feeling it with the gravity fit on. It just makes it feel like I swing it back, I jump onto the woggle, move it through. Right guys, super, super, super important part of the session. The part where we actually, and we all know this, we need to hit some shots, what they replicate out on the golf course. So this is how I want you to do it. Palms down, back, palms down through. Get a feeling for arms and body working together. Practice swing with the golf club. Try and get that brushing action. Picture your shot, over it. Right, okay. Waggle it. All I want to focus on is a foot after the golf ball. Can I feel like I've kept the tension on? I've not let the tension go away. Simple, easy analogies like that form great practice sessions, but also there's stuff you can take straight to the golf course, which, if you're honest guys, that's what we want. We want to take it straight to the golf course. We want to improve. So during a session, don't become too dependent on stuff like that, because if we're too dependent on it, then we rely on it out on the golf course and we can't replicate those feels realistically. The great things to do on the driving range, great things to do at home, but don't become too dependent. Okay guys, my favorite part of the video, obviously I love helping you guys, but reading all your comments, which is something that I do and I do reply to you all. So this all comes from the golf swing will never be the same again in this move. And this was on Wednesday Wisdom's video of this week. And it's talking about how actually we control speed in our golf swing in three ways. And I will leave the link just up here for you to check it out once you've heard these comments. So. Nick Moss said, and he's from America, he said, you had me at the range today saying Sergio Aguero, and I'm from the US. I can't pick the guy out on the lineup for. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're mean in American football. Like I, I mean, I know Peyton Manning, um, Tom Brady, uh, Carolina Panthers, oh, Cam Newton. These are all guys, obviously, guys. I watched the um, Amazon Prime documentary, so I know them. But our point is, is that it was a really simple way for you to actually get a great feeling of how you control speed. The next one is comes from Paul Henry. Alex subscribed a week ago and just want to say thanks for the content. Play yesterday for the first time and I played so well with my driver. Great tips and great drills. That is magic as a guy. Honestly, it means so much to me that you guys are commenting and you are getting involved with absolutely everything on Alex Elite Golf. The final thing I want to leave you with here is guys, one is thank you for the comments, but two, don't forget, Tomorrow on the channel is Sunday Swings. Your chance to win, one, a free swing analysis, and two, drills to improve your golf game, take them to the next level. Guys, it's so easy. All you've got to do is, one, smash that big red subscribe button down there, and number two is put hashtag pick me down below. Thanks, guys, and see you tomorrow for Sunday Swings.